Behind me in this fenced off area, a residential school cemetery with the unmarked graves of dozens of First Nations children. Tomorrow, the RCMP and federal government will transfer this land to a group that wants to protect the cemetery and commemorate the dead. It's been a long time coming. The Regina Indian Industrial School operated for nearly two decades, closing in 1910. More than 400 students attended from First Nations in Alberta, Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Records show some were as young as three, even though the school was supposed to focus on teaching trades. The building burned down in 1948 and the land has been privately owned for decades. Archaeologists have found evidence of roughly three dozen burial spots. Elders say the practice of stacking bodies means the number of children buried here could be much higher. We know that there were illnesses. We know that there were abuses that took place. Um, we know that there were many, many, many children with broken hearts. The Regina Indian Industrial School Commemorative Association fought for years to stop private development on this land. It successfully lobbied for municipal and provincial heritage status, but without ownership of the land, it couldn't do much more. So that's where the RCMP comes in. It owned an adjacent piece of undeveloped land. It arranged a land swap, giving its land to the private landowner and taking ownership of the cemetery. Tomorrow, the RCMP and federal government will give ownership of the cemetery to the Commemorative Association. They have been phenomenal. Um, I'm so grateful with the, the members of the RCMP that we have worked directly with and I know there's been a number of them who have worked behind closed doors um, making a lot of this possible and, and in such an honorable way. The Commemorative Association plans to protect the cemetery, perform proper ceremonies for the deceased and search for more remains. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.